up, everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming, bringing you probably the longest production of a video of all time, like two weeks. This is on the limited partners. We get these during the five star events in Dominion. There's a lot of benefits to them. Uh, they have great leader skills. Some of them up up to forty percent attack. There's a, there is a couple of elite partners in the in the limited partner range. Some setbacks as well. They have low low health. Quite a few of them. And you know the old concept that if you have to explain a joke, it's not really funny. They had to kind of explain that limited. So we're gonna get right into breaking down a few of them. These are, these are all partners that I've used for the most part, and they, they were pretty success, successful, especially in, in adventure. Adventure, you can really test out all of the partners. First one is Rudolph. Interesting name. Rudolph has what's called the bleeding marks and it actually stacks up quite a bit you have a 50% chance to get a bleeding mark whenever you or the teammate attacks or Ru Rudolph and, or, or her teammates you have a 40% chance of, of putting two poison debuffs on the opponent every time she attacks so this goes really well with the partners that do more damage per debuff like one of my favorites the tree man and I'm, I'm not going through every single color of, of all of them I'm just gonna kind of explain the ones that are that I've seen work the best next is the red mr. football he has what's called deceptive action this is this automatically works uh, this slows everyone down on the, on the other team for two rounds and then it makes him immune to all damage for two rounds so he'll survive some of those big first attacks also, his third skill is a penalty kick He'll, that will stun for one round, and you can also do some really big damage on that penalty kick skill. Again, it's a one target attack. One of, one of the partners that I immediately upgraded to six star. This is the green sharky. He has what's called hunt ritual. It gives the whole team a shield. Also increases their defense for the whole team. You see what I have on him. I have Ian and Lion. Ian is he's a retaliation partner as well. Um, I believe he, it, it changes during after his third awakening, but uh, it starts off with the forty percent chance to regain ten percent of the action bar, and if the action bar is under fifty percent, he'll automatically retaliate. I, I think that goes up after the third awakening, and. He is also one of the partners that does more damage or has more effect to higher attack and higher defense. It's one of those dual dual partners, and we see that a lot more now than we used to. Another interesting partner. This is one of the elite partners, Little Ghost, Little Red. You see what I've used on him. You want to try to keep Ghost alive as long as possible. He has the Blessing from Beyond, that means he revolve, revolves, revives a fallen partner, brings him back at zero health or 1% health, but but full action bar plus gives him a boost on the attack. So we've seen him with the with the, the Red Nomad and the Red Team where when Ro Red Nomad goes down, he comes back with a revive and he attacks someone, usually a, to one shot kill. And then if one of the other team is stuck on him and he, he, can't, he can't be killed for another round, really effective. And next video, I just got a replay from someone in, in 323 Chief. He showed me a video with two green ghosts, and you'll be amazed what happens. That's next video. Didn't have time in this video. Another another limited partner is Little Pumpkin. He's got what's called the Hot Pepper Mark. And again, it's one of the Mark partners. You see a lot of these. He gets a Wild Mark every action he takes. With each Wild Mark, he gets 10% critical rate and 15% attack and that can be stacked up up to 10 up to 10 so that can be up to 100% uh, critical rate and 150% attack after third awakening if he uses an all red team or brave team you add 15% attack per wild mark for the whole team I think So give me a give me a hand in the comment section. I'm looking for suggestions on video ideas, topics. I, I have a, my own agenda that I'm going to be following. 
but I get a lot of requests for a lot of different things mostly just partners uh, you know videos on specific partners but if you can think of anything that would really help you your, you out or your clanmates out leave a comment down in the comment section the series we have planned for 2020 survive a server war some t tactical uh, advice not that I'm very good at it <laughs> and then some more ranked rank matches one of my favorite things to do we also have some single videos coming up on runes on the, the flame and whatever they're called on the dragon kid another interesting partner that I thought was going to be part of the elite and uh, elusive tree man team <laughs> that'd be little tyrant blue little tyrant he does what's called the scream of terror and what, what this does is this turns all buffs on both sides of your team and the enemy team into poison debuffs uh, he does the poison debuffs every time he attacks uh, the, the scream of terror that that affects everyone and he also does the triple stomp which is his third skill and that's it he attacks the all the all of the other team and he extends the poison uh, let's see he adds two rounds of poison to whatever they have if they have poisons already if they have three rounds of poison on them then they'll add another two rounds <coughs> And I, I believe the poison debuffs do like a thousand damage at the beginning of each round. So if they have a bunch of them stacked up on them, that can do a significant amount of damage. As you can see on the screen, though, the, didn't didn't survive in the uh, elite adventure with with three of the little tyrants and little ghost. Couldn't quite hack it. The little tyrants, red and green. They're, they're both. I, I don't. I can't really tell you which is the best of, of the three. They both. All of them have kind of unique skills. At least one that's that's really good. On, on green, he does a destructive crash. He will smash into the uh, one opponent, attack up to four times. No, attack four times at once. And if he kills that one opponent, then the whole team gets poisoned for a couple rounds. Both red and green little tyrant, they have a passive skill. It's called Wrath, but that does ignores 50% of the enemy's defense if a poison is present, and also add one round of poison uh, debuffs, not to exceed four. And that's a passive skill. That means they always have it on every attack. And red second skill is the Scream of Terror, same as blue. He will attack everyone in the, in the entire battlefield his team other team and turn every single debuff or every single buff into the poison debuff so a lot of these skills they, they kind of wrap around each other and they, they help each other out that's why I was kind of hoping that three of them could survive with the little ghost but they did not we're not going to go over fencer in this video because the next video is going to be on fencer I do have that that green uh, little ghost replay as well Fencer has become a pretty interesting partner. I've seen him a lot, her a lot, uh, up in the upper parts of ranked matches. So I decided just to do a whole video just on her. It'll be on all three colors. So a little advice for the limited partners. I know it's tempting to, to feed the limited partners to each other or to, just to feed them off to other other uh, partners to advance their, their star count. But... We're finding out more and more about them as time goes on, so I'd be real careful on, on feeding out the limited partners until we really know which the, which are, are the best. Next up is the sh Dragon Shaman. They have uh, the Thunder Marks. All three of them have Thunder Marks. Um, they all have what's called Thunder Shock. It is, attacks one enemy with 30% chance to blind them for two rounds. And uh, the faster speed they get, the more damage they can do. Now, the green is a healer um, he'll heal one partner add one round to all the buffs it's called thunder control uh, higher attack means higher healing so not only does speed help but, but also attack helps so try to get attack percentage on their head right hand the I, I believe these dragon shaman are going to be complementary you're, gonna, you're, you're not going to center your whole attack or your whole uh, defense around the dragon shaman but they're they're good partners to complement others also on green the third skill is called thunder stimulation life it heals the whole team 30 percent 
It also gives them the defense buff for three rounds. But this is this has one of those downsides to it. There's a 50% chance that the whole team can go blind, or I think it's it's individual 50% chance for each one to go blind for two rounds. So there is a chance that you'll have a minor setback. Huh. On blue now, if you remember the the first event where we where we were able to get the dragon shaman, blue were really hard to get. The second skill is Me Mega Thunder Shock. Attacks, it attacks two enemies two times. There's also a 50% chance to blind them. And on blue, there's a th the Thunder Stimulation action. Remember, uh, green had the heal. Uh, action is uh, increased attack for three rounds at 30% chance, 30% uh, to the action bar. And like the green thunder stimulation, this also has that chance, a 50% chance to lower the team's defense by two rounds, four two rounds. And finally, red's third skill is called overload. Every critical rate attack gets him a thunder mark. After four thunder marks are collected, he will detonate two of those four thunder marks. Each of the thunder mark adds 15% damage and 8% to the action bar. Now, what I've noticed about the dragon shaman is that at third awakening, they get a, a significant bump up in their skills. The fourth, at third awakening, blue gets the thunder stimulation action in addition to the normal skill. At third awakening, if the whole team is blue, they all get immunity for two rounds. So that's a really big difference. Uh, the thunder control, the healing of this skill is doubled from the, from from affecting one teammate to two teammates. And on the overload skill on red, in addition to the normal skill, the Third Awakening has a 75% chance to add the Thunder Mark for each critical rate for the team. So it's not just him attacking that will give him those Thunder Marks, it will be the whole team. And remember, as soon as he gets four of those Thunder Marks, he'll detonate two of them during his, ne his next attack. And so those are all significant increases. Uh, now, I don't have any of them Third Awakened yet. So it seems like the Third Awakening will be a really big occurrence for all of the Dragon Shaman. All three of them have some big increases in their uh, potential at Third Awakening. Next is Smilodon. One of the terrors of the past. Red's second skill is called Venom Claws. It attacks two times with a 50% chance to poison for three rounds. So far, the Smilodons weren't very impressive at, at first. Uh, the third skill is Wild Roar. It adds three rounds of critical rate to the team and increases the action bar by 50% for the entire team. So that's a that's a pretty big speed up. And then after Third Awakening, the Venom Claws attacks two times with a 50% chance to poison for three rounds, and it's guaranteed to be a critical rate if the if the enemy has a poison already. So if he's already attacked. You know he'll, they'll have poison for three rounds. So the next time he attacks, it will automatically be a critical rate. So that's that's pretty good. And remember that on the Smilodon it has a, that plus forty percent attack on all red partners. You have to look at all of your limited partners. A lot of them have the forty percent attack increase on the same color, or they'll have twenty five percent attack on all colors. Which 40% attack is a big boost. Yeah, that, that works out ex exceptionally well, especially in like the, the clan attacks, the hunt, and uh, a lot of your, um, your, your rally attacks. <laughs> I don't think there's any 5 stars that do the 40%. So, and, and remember, you have the fencer that's coming out as a strong partner now, and you have others that have always been good, like the Red Ghost. Uh, even even some of the offbeat ones like the Dragon Shaman, once they're third awakened, they're real strong. And uh, the Sharkies, I've, I've been using one for a long time. He's been pretty effective. So take a look at your limited, especially look at their, their third awakened skills. And for those still watching at the end of a 15 minute video, I just want to thank you guys. Rare breed, very rare breed. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care everybody.